current electricity fifth part in which i'm starting with heating effect of current when a current is passed across any resistor then some heat is dissipated because of the obstruction posed by resistor and this phenomenon is called joule heating what's the cause of this heating effect let me try to find out some key words so whenever potential difference is applied across the ends of a conductor its free electrons get accelerated in the opposite directions of the applied field. but the speed of electron does not increase beyond a constant constant drift speed this is because during the course of their motion the electrons collide frequently with the positive metal ions the kinetic energy gained by the electrons during the intervals of free acceleration between collisions is transferred to the metal ions at the time of collision the metal ions begin to vibrate about their mean positions more and more violently the average kinetic energy of the ions increases this increase this increases the temperature of the conductor because of this increase in average kinetic energy temperature increases thus the conductor gets heated due to the flow of current obviously the electrical energy supplied by the source of emf is converted into heat so these are the key words and phrases we need to remember while we are understanding heating effect of current from this pink box power p is h by t i square r t by t it implies that p is i square r is equal to v square by r is equal to v i at the same time this also we need to remember because power is rate of doing work or rate of heat dissipation obviously we are referring this power as electric power here from the above pink box we can see it is mentioned calorie also obviously joule can be converted into 1 calorie is equal to 4.18 joule electric energy the total work done electrical en energy consumed in the circuit power in series series may 1 upon p equivalent is 1 upon p1 plus 1 upon p2 1 upon p3 so on so on that means if n number of electrical devices are connected in series such that p1 p2 p3 are individual powers then total power consumed that is equivalent power should be equal to reciprocal sum like equivalent resistance in parallel similar but here this is series power in parallel p equivalent is p1 plus p2 plus p3 so on so p1 p2 p3 are individual power consumption such that they are connected in parallel of a source of emf so this is the output upon input output is of course vi and ei is input power then after cancellation of i v upon e and this way finally we obtain always efficiency is output upon input that means total external resistance is equal to total internal resistance of the circuit it shows laws there are two laws first law junction rule second law kvl voltage rule kvl it shows voltage law total total current across any junction is zero some are approaching some are approaching but some are going away that means incoming if we consider positive then i1 plus i2 it implies that it implies that total incoming currents 
across any junction this is basically first law total current across any junction is zero or total incoming current these are two forms in which this first law could be expressed if we see any illustration for the given circuit find the value of i let's identify which all are incoming and which all are outgoing these are incoming 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 which are outgoing this is outgoing this is outgoing and even this is also outgoing so if we try to solve here only at this interface incoming is equal to outgoing it implies that incoming is 0 0.2 plus 0 0.6 plus 0 0.7 now outgoing green one 0 0.4 0 0.5 plus i and we were to find i only 1.3 that means 1.5 is equal to 0 0.9 plus i it implies that i is 1.5 minus 0 0.9 0 0.6 ampere answer this way so this was simple illustration just to uh, understand how junction rule is applied but now main mudde ki baat hai voltage law second total potential across any closed loop closed loop hum log specify kar rahe hain open loop ke liye hum baad mein अलग तरीके से समझेंगे हाउ टू अप्लाई दैट इन जनरल वील हैव ऑलवेज क्लोज लूप ओनली टोटल पोटेंशियल अक्रॉस एनी क्लोज लूप इज जीरो और इन अदर वर्ड सिग्मा आई आर इज इक्वल टू सिग्मा ई फॉर एनी क्लोज लूप फॉर एनी क्लोज लूप टोटल ई एम एफ का सम शुड बी इक्वल टू ऑल द पोटेंशियल ड्रॉप अक्रॉस द रेसिस्टर्स इन दैट वेरी क्लोज लू अब इलास्ट्रेशन से देखते हैं द फॉलोइंग फिगर शोज अ कॉम्प्लेक्स नेटवर्क ऑफ कंडक्टर्स विच कैन बी डिवाइडेड इन टू टू क्लोज लूप लाइक ई ए सी ई दैट मीन्स ई ए सी ई दिस वे वी आर टू दिस इज वी आर ट्रेवर्सिंग आर सर्किट इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सर्किट वन मोर क्लैरिफिकेशन इज नॉट हेयर because here we are to traverse the circuit so our direction is also there along the direction of current or opposite to the direction of current dekho black arrow is suggesting that we are they have traversed the circuit along the direction of current i'll specify arrow to so, agar hum log loop e a to so, sare potential drop to wo current ke direction mein traverse kar rahe hain to positive I1, R1. अब यहाँ पे I1 है Here, what current we would be taking? अच्छा है यहाँ पे I2 दिखाया हुआ है तो प्लस आई टू आर टू फिर प्लस आई थ्री आर थ्री इज इक्वल टू ई ना अनदर लूप ए बी सी ए दैट मीन्स ये लोअर वाला लूप यहाँ तो हमारे रस्ते में सारे चीज पॉजिटिव पड़ी बट वेन वी A B C A. When we start from A B C A, A B. This is B C A. Look now, this uh, I two R two is coming negative because our traverse direction is opposite to direction of current. So this time, let let us start with I four R four. Then come to again plus I five R five. and this one is negative of i2 r2 is equal to 0 because in this closed loop there is no battery or cell connected so hence it is equal to 0 hence so through these two equations we could get the desired value whatever thing is unknown but this uh, illustration has been given only to explain the formation of equations it is not proper numerical so we'll be further solving it could be written as 
I four R four plus I five R five is equal to I two R, and all these are numericals. If you if we'll have any problem, now let's try to frame the. Now let us consider two equations again. Acha, one thing more I I would tell you here we have how many uh, uh, equations chances probability of close uh, how many closed loops do we have one one a d f e a and another is e f c b e and one more is there that is ye bada wala loop so we can always choose this also but why to take a longer route why to take longer equation to involve so that's why we rarely move on to this option otherwise we have three options and moreover we would be needing only two equations and along with these two equations junction rule is also there so aise hi hamare bas three equations hain so why to choose fourth one but we are given this option we may apply ab let's follow let's write the equations firstly i am willing to opt for a d f e a and what is asked for calculate the current that flows in the 1 ohm oh acha acha that means ab let's try to indicate apne man se kuch bhi assume kare कुछ एनी डायरेक्शन वी चूज अगर आपका नेगेटिव आ जाए दैट डजेंट मीन कि आपका आंसर रॉन्ग है ऐसे आंसर तो टैली करना ही चाहिए बुक के आंसर से वॉट आई एम ट्राइंग टू से आप डायरेक्शन कुछ भी एज्यूम करो आपका सही वैल्यू है दिस इज आई टू एट दिस जंक्शन ई ये यहाँ से ये आई थ्री ऐसे यू गया इसका मतलब ये हुआ कि अगर जंक्शन रूल अगर अप्लाई करा जाए तो आई टू प्लस नो आई टू इज इक्वल टू आई वन प्लस आई थ्री फ्रॉम जंक्शन रूल आई टू इज इक्वल टू आई वन प्लस आई थ्री इट इम्प्लाई दैट और हमें तो आई थ्री चाहिए था बिकॉज दे हैव आस फॉर करेंट अक्रॉस आई वन ओम इट इम्प्लाई दैट आई थ्री इज इक्वल टू आई टू माइनस आई वन let's see whether we would be able to apply this equation for our answer or not so loop a d f e a agar equation likhte hain to 3 i1 minus 1 i3 is equal to 6 hai na ab yahan pe sahuliyat ye hogi ki agar hum pehle ye 3 i1 equation number 1 अब इनके लिए क्या लूप लिखा जाए टू आई टू वीर ऑल्सो करेंट इज गोइंग दिस वे एंड वी आर ऑल्सो ट्रेवर्सिंग अलॉन्ग द डायरेक्शन ऑफ करेंट ओनली देर वर ओनली थ्री रेसिस्टर्स दैट इज इक्वल टू नाइन वोल्ट इन बोथ द लूप बैटरी वर पॉजिटिव ओनली सो दिस वे इफ वी एड अप दीज टू इक्वेश प्लस आई थ्री एंड माइनस आई थ्री आर गेटिंग कैंसल from 1 pi1 minus minus i3 is equal to 6 now just to eliminate i1 what do we do this value will be substituting over here therefore 5 i3 now only one variable is left let's see whether we could tally our answer or not I think we only required I. Ah yes, that's why I have eliminated I. I three is equal to minus three by twenty three ampere. So we had to go two three steps of calculation extra. So hello friends, uh, for a few days it was uh, kept aside just to complete another few videos. Now I am coming back. to last addition of current electricity and here it is wheatstone bridge and few more topics like uh, meter bridge and uh, i guess for potentiometer since it is not in uh, cbsc boards now any more
तो फॉर पोटेंशियोमीटर आई एम टू कवर सेपरेट वीडियो वॉट इज वीटसोन ब्रिज लेट एस फर्स्ट हैव proper know how in terms of definition then thereafter with the help of diagram i'm going to explain now i must tell you in which format and this is galvanometer in this particular type of circuit this particular shape circuit which has four resistances in the given pattern first p q r s and this middle branch consisting galvanometer and if galvanometer shows no deflection that is ig is equal to 0 or third option i am indicating four points namely what are those four points a again i'll repeat first let me indicate all the branches currents this is i1 minus ig and after combining this i2 and ig here i2 plus ig and then thereafter i1 plus i2 is equal to i and the in the given circuit if galvanometer shows no deflection or ig is equal to 0 if galvanometer galvanometer shows no deflection that means in this middle branch no current that means ig is equal to 0 that's why i wrote ig is equal to 0 or potential difference between b and d is equal to 0 vb minus vd is equal to 0 then p upon q is equal to r upon s and this is the condition for that means the given circuit will be considered balanced if this condition fulfills otherwise the given circuit won't be considered balanced and then the uh, then what's the remedial measure for this kind of circuit if it is not balanced that means p upon q is not equal to r upon s then the only remedial measure to solve the circuit is to apply kirchhoff's law for finding out any particular current or any particular resistance in the given format of circuit now let's derive the this condition if we apply kirchhoff's voltage law in the circuit a b d a i1 p plus i g g i g g and then here since current is opposite with respect to our traversing direction of the circuit so i2 r minus is equal to 0 why because this closed loop has no cell or battery since for balance condition ig is equal to 0 therefore i1 p plus 0 Minus I two R is equal to zero. It implies that I one P is equal to I two R. Equation number one: B C D B. B C D B. I one minus I G Q minus because again we are traversing this resistor in opposite direction. So I two Minus negative of I two plus I G, and then again I G into G negative is equal to zero. For the same reason, again right hand side will be zero because there is no cell or battery in this closed loop. Then for balance condition, I G is equal to zero. I one Q minus I two S minus zero is equal to zero. It implies that I one Q is equal to I two S. This is equation number two. One divided by two I one P upon I one Q. I two R upon I two S. I one I one cancel. I two I two cancel. Therefore P upon Q is equal to R upon S. Proved. Then here comes 
meter bridge meter bridge or slide wire bridge first most important point is this meter bridge practical form of and another point of interest is why it is also named as slide wire bridge for this to understand we need to consider primary circuit diagram for meter bridge i'll be pasting one diagram so in context to the diagram pasted here firstly i'll explain here battery current i coming here here and at this junction it is splitting some part went here through resistance box and going this way this way this way and this s is unknown resistance of platinum platinum wire of unknown resistance and again it is proceeding and here and again remaining part of current went into this part constituting and from point d there is one branch at this point it is untouched which consists of one resistance box just to make the circuit balancing it is included mainly it has one galvanometer also and age if you proceed then this point is jockey which is sliding thing and if you keep sliding in the current mode there is one point in the process of sliding jockey will acquire at one point where the null point would be achieved and at null point galvanometer shows no deflection that means v b minus v d is zero and at null point from a to b is balancing length l and this part of resistance would be considered as p and from b to c it is q and corresponding length will be 100 minus l why how because this a ac part is 1 meter uniform resistance wire it is fixed that's why this device is known as meter bridge and uh, and because of this a uh, sliding jockey thing it is known as slide wire bridge and for what this device is used for just to determine the unknown resistance s with the help of this resistance box let me clarify resistance box also resistance box is a cuboid thing which has plenty of keys suppose if you pick out 2 ohm keys then that resistance box will start behaving as 2 ohm resistance further if you pick out 3 ohm keys then it will start behaving as 2 plus 3 5 ohms and so on so on so on for our sake of conveniency and feasibility we we pick out keys just to make ourselves feasible according to our requirements we keep on adding or subtracting resistances then let's come over to last part of this meter bridge that is how to find out this unknown resistance s and again i'll remind this is uh, ac is uniform resistance wire of 100 cm or 1 m length i hope i have explained all the points related to meter bridge now few lines from the p upon q is equal to r upon s firstly i'll indicate left part and q is right part which has to be p is lr q is 100 minus l into r r upon s where r is the resistance per unit length which is usually 1 ohm per centimeter as far as lab experiment is concerned r r cancel imply that s and hence this unknown resistance is 
is found by applying this formula. So now I am ending this session, hoping potentiometer has to be covered in another video separately. And in that video, potentiometer applications, including few numerical examples, all will be covered in one single video. And for numericals related to these topics, I am to cover in NCRT exercises solved and even HC Burma thing. So that's why here I have left those numericals. So thanks for viewing and enjoying my video and just keep enjoying keep studying and bye see you take care thank you